Are you tired of fussing around with paracord bundles that just get tangled into a mess? Leaving paracord in a tangled mess can be dangerous. You must say to yourself, there's got to be a better way. Well, there is. Presenting. Hey, what's going on, weavers? Thanks for tuning in. And here is a quick and easy way to carry some paracord tangle and mess free. But most importantly, it's quick release. And here's how we do it. So I've got about 10 feet or roughly 3 meters of paracord. But you can use more if you want. It'll just be a longer bundle. I'm going to find the midpoint of my paracord. And then I'm going to double it up. After I've doubled it up, I'm going to double it up one more time so that the running ends line up with the first midpoint. Then working from the doubled up midpoint on my left index finger, I'm going to tie a slip knot. I'm going to make a figure eight wrap around my index and middle finger. Then remove my fingers from the figure eight and then pass the right side strands through the back of the lower loop. Pull on the right side cords and tighten that first slip knot. From here, you can also even up the bottom cords, even though it's not super necessary, but you want them somewhat even. Then with the right side cords, we're going to form a bite and then pass it through the first slip knot we made. After that, pull the left side cords and close the slip knot loop around the first bite. Pull up on the second loop and firm up the knot. We now repeat on the other side, form a bite and pass it through the previous loop. And then do the same and pull the right side cords to close that loop around the bite. We're now back to the original side and from here we just repeat the process and continue forming the zipper sinnet going up the piece. Now it doesn't have to look super pretty as it's just for storage, so it's okay if some of the loops overlap or get a little twisted. So onwards and upwards. Now, once you get to the top and there's just a bit of cord left on the looped side, pass that last bit of loop through the slip knot and then pull it shut. And we now have a loop up top. And with the running ends on the other side, you can just tie a simple overhand knot. We've now made our quick release zipper sinnet and it can be stowed away or hung on a pack with a carabiner, ready for quick access to some cordage when needed. To release the cord, all you have to do is pull the top loop side out of that first slip knot. And then from there, gripping each side, you pull in opposite directions and release the cord. And not only is that fun, it's super satisfying to look at. And yes, it does take a bit of time and prep only to release in a few seconds, but that's the point. Maybe you're out in the wilderness somewhere and you need to pass the time and maintain your sanity. This is definitely something that will keep the mind busy. So there we have it, weavers, the quick release zipper sinnet storage method. Hope you all found it useful and interesting. I want to thank you all for watching and a huge thank you to all my current Patreon supporters for making videos like this possible. If you want access to exclusive content in the Weavers of Eternity Discord, want to support the channel directly, please feel free to check out my Patreon page you can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support the channel by liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. If you enjoyed the content here, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.